Optic Studio 17 features a new optimization technique called Digital Contrast Optimization. It's a new, fast, and robust method for optimizing the MTF at a specific frequency using the more Elliott Contrast method. To use Digital Contrast Optimization, we want to set up the merit function to use criteria for digital contrast. We can do that in the Optimization Wizard. If we click here, we've got a new option for digital contrast. Notice that the merit function now shows input boxes for relative S weight and spatial frequency. The relative S weight refers to the um, relative weight we want to apply to the sagittal operands in reference to the tangential operands. So this will affect the um, MT, uh, the sagittal and tangential MTF and how much we optimize for each of those. Uh, for now, I want to keep it at 1 so that we optimize for each of those evenly. Uh, the spatial frequency refers to the frequency at which we want the MTF to be optimized. Uh, we'll optimize this system, for example, at 50 line pairs per millimeter. And go ahead and hit OK. We can see that the default merit function is built with DCOS and DCOT operands. Uh, these refer to the sagittal and tangential components, as I mentioned. Keep in mind that these operand names are subject to change between this beta and the Optics Studio 17 release. Uh, so these may not go by DCOS and DCOT. Uh, so now we want to set the maximum frequency of our FFT MTF window to 50 so that we can see the improvement of the MTF. Okay, and we can see currently it's not doing so great. Uh, another way that we can see how this improves numerically for the MTF is by putting in the MTFA operand. Um, we want to make sure to give that a weight of zero since we don't want to use it to optimize the system. We're just going to look at the digital contrast operands. We will give it a frequency of 50 and an update so we can see that the average is somewhere around 30 percent. So now let's go ahead and run the local optimizer. We'll hit start. And we can see that the MTF has improved there and here as well. It's gone up by about 0.09 and that only took about 3.8 seconds.